Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. So guys, in this video, I will show you how to resolve this particular issue that uh, you might face whenever whenever you are, you are working with PostgreSQL or uh, PG Admin. Uh, it says that could not connect uh, could not connect to server and connection refused. And uh, all the details are uh, here like this. Because uh, uh, you, you might face this issue or this issue like like this uh, the application server could not be contacted which is a fatal error for pg admin this comes when you uh, go and search here pg admin and you try to open this application pg admin uh, you might get this issue this issue gets resolved when you try again and again one or two times this issue might get resolved just by uh, to resolve the this issue is simply you open your the default browser whatever default browser is set on which you uh, regularly open the pg admin open that and wait uh, wait to wait to uh, for, to uh, start this or when you get this type of issue like uh, uh, this application will open on the browser when you open from pg admin like this it will be it will be opened here but again it will say that uh, it's a, it's a, a refuse to connect like this i'm showing you when you are trying to connect to user user database it will show you the error like uh, password is nothing password i i will try giving my password the password is right root password that uh, i have been using for since uh, very long time the password is correct but it will again say you the uh, it uh, could not connect to server and connection is refused so for this uh, to resolve this uh, you should first check your services that how it's running or not F uh, first go to search and write here services and then open this to show you this particular issue, I have forcefully uh, made my service disabled here. I uh, will show you. Go to bottom. Here you will get one service named uh, PostgreSQL. I am using PostgreSQL uh, 12 version, so this is uh, you. It, it may uh, it may vary for you. No, so see to show you, I have made it disabled. So even if it's not disabled, just uh, go to properties and make it automatic and do apply and do ok when it's done then again do right click and do start or from here do start the server the service will be started in a while and now do ok see now service is running now i'll get uh, i'll go and again try this I am giving my password root and clicking OK. Now it should connected. See now it the database is connected with uh, everything that I have. So this is the way you solve the issue. Even if you are not, uh, no, you are you are unable to solve this issue. Try restarting your system, or uh, you can also uh, try. Uh, clearing the case th that uh, temp things whatever you have just go here and uh, select all and do delete these things so few things won't be deleted because i have opened uh, opened uh, my programs so just uh, skip them no issue so i have deleted most of the things and uh, except the, those running things that i have so uh, now these are clears and again you can try so the basic thing is you should go to your service and check your service and if your service is not running just make that uh, running and uh, it will it will work i hope a, a, it works for you and uh, if you even face any issue let me know in the comment section i will help you definitely so uh, let's meet in other video with another topic so till then take care bye bye